Hello, today I show you how to use Vintage Sketch Photoshop Action and here is some of results you can make with this section. Okay, here is original photo, then you need to paint the area where you want to focus and here is the result. Looks like a real Vintage Sketch. Another example, original photo, area layer and the result. and also a few examples. Okay, and firstly some recommendations for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution between 3 and 5000 pixels on one axis. So if you use photo with too small resolution, just open your photo, then go to the image, image size and just change width or height value. Okay, and before your section you need to do the steps. First step, make sure that you're using the English version of Photoshop. And if you switch with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. And second step, go to the image mode and just check the RGB color and 8 bits channel. And last step, just for CS5 and high switchings, click on menu icon at the right, select panel options and just check the add copy to copy layers and groups. Okay, that's all. Now, how to use action. First, open your photo. And one more important thing, your photo need to have the background view. So if your photo have this, the layer view, you just need to select your photo, then go to the layer, new, and just select the background from layer. Now it's okay. The next step, open brushes file, for that go to the edit, presets, preset manager. In preset type, select brushes, click load. Then go to your download folder and just open the vintage sketch brushes file. Okay, click done. The next step, open patterns file, for then go to the edit, presets, preset manager. In preset type, select patterns, click load, then go to your download folder again and just open vintage sketch patterns file. Okay, click done. The next step, open the action file, for that go to the window, actions. Click on menu icon at the right, select load actions, go to the download folder last time and just load the vintage sketch photoshop action file. Ok, that's all. The next step, create a new layer and name it area and please don't use the caps lock. Now you need to paint on this layer the area that you need to focus. For that you can use a brush tool, you can use quick selection tool or magic wand tool or you can use some of lesser tools. Uh, for this image I am gonna use a brush tool. Just select the brush tool, you can use any colors and just paint the area where you want to focus and please make sure that you paint on the area layer, not on the background layer, only on area layer. It's very easy. Okay, the area is done. Now go to the actions panel. If you close it, the actions panel, go to the window, actions, find vintage sketch Photoshop action in the actions list, open the photo with section, open the action and just select the action. 
but before you will click play, please make sure that the opacity and flow values of brush tool is 100% uh, and the normal mode is selected also. Okay, click play. Wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions and speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. And let us scroll this step. Okay, and now when action finished work, you can edit the final composition. And now I show you how to make this. But firstly, I want to show you how to close all folders inside the main folder. Because now you can see that all folders inside the main folders is open it. So to close all these folders, just click and hold Ctrl plus Alt case combination and open and close the first folder. And now you can see that all folders inside the main folders is closed. So let's start to edit the final composition. The final composition contains five folders. It's back elements, middle elements, top elements, uh, 10 color effects and color and contour settings of all image. So let's start from back elements. This folder contains the white back color. I recommend to use only white back color. Also, this folder contains the uh, back pencil lines, uh, back paint drops and back paint pads. Uh, you can find uh, many layers inside this folders. Also you can use the layer masks or you can use the mask of the folders to erase some of space of these effects. Uh, so uh, if you want to erase um, maybe the back paint drops, uh, you just need to select the layer mask of any of these uh, two layers or you can use the mask of the folder and then you need to select the brush tool with a black color and just paint where you want to erase the back paint drops. Also to make visible this effect, just change color to white and paint again. You can make the same with the layer mask. Black color to erase and the white color to make visible. It's very easy. Okay, also this uh, back elements folder contains the back shadow tone layer. You can uh, make this uh, layer visible or you can hide this layer. Also you can change the opacity of this back shadow. Okay, the next uh, folder it's middle elements. Uh, this folder contains the middle pencil lines. You can also erase the uh, sum of space of all this folder or you can erase uh, sum of space of any of these layers. Let's try to erase the middle pencil lines folder. Select the layer mask, select brush tool with black color and just paint where you want to erase the middle pencil lines. To make visible, paint on the layer mask using the white color. And also this uh, middle elements folder contains three uh, layers. It's hue saturation, more contrast layer and white filter. This is additional layers so you can hide any of these layers. The next folder it's top elements folder. This folder contains old paper texture. You can change the hue and saturation of this paper texture. Just uh, make double click on the hue and saturation layer and just move the hue slider and saturation slider. Also you can change the brightness and contrast of this old paper texture.
Also, this folder contains the white paint pad layer and the folders with uh, top paint drops, top pencil lines, and cracks. You can also uh, erase some of cracks, parts, select the layer mask, select the mask of the folder, and just paint on this mask using the black color. Also, this folder contains a very important folder. It's add more details layers. First layer, it's more original details layer. You can change the brightness and contrast of this layer. And very important uh, layer, it's show original parts layer. So you can easily show your original parts. Uh, for that, select the layer mask, select the brush tool, but with white color. And just paint where you want to add more details. So you can add more details on the face area and hands area. Here is difference. Also, you can change the opacity of this layer. Okay, and the next uh, folder contains 10 color effects. You can combine these effects. And the last folder is color and contrast settings of all image. You can add the gradient to all image. Of course, you can change the colors of this gradient. For that, make double click on the gradient icon. Select the gradient. You can use any colors. Also, you can uh, make the black gradient shadow. For that, click on the gradient, change the colors to black, and change the opacity of one slider to zero percent. And then you just need to change the blending mode of this uh, layer to normal. Make double click on the gradient icon again and change the angle of your gradient. Also, you can move this gradient and scale. You can change the opacity of this gradient. Okay. Also, this uh, folder contains shadow frame layer. You can duplicate this uh, layer if you want to add more shadows on the frame area. For that, select this shadow frame layer and go to the layer, duplicate layer. You can duplicate again. So it's very easy. Also, this folder contains hue and saturation of all image adjustment. You can add the photo filter to all image. To change the photo filter, just make visible this uh, layer, make double click, 
on the layer icon and just select the photo filter from list. You can change the density of this photo filter. Also, you can add the black and white composition and you can add the color tone to all image. Of course, you can change the opacity of this layer. And the last uh, adjustment in this folder, you can change the brightness and contrast of all image. So here is result. Now you just need to save this image. And here is difference. Thanks for watching and good luck.